I'm Raqia, a freelance senior software engineer and software architect. I'm also a Google developer expert in Angular and the Women Take Makers ambassador. I'm a content creator as well with about 200 articles on Medium. I share my experiences on YouTube as well and I have a Udemy video course with over 30k students about web performance optimization. Web Performance 101, your guide to boost your web apps, where I unravel the secrets of efficient and effective web applications. Feel free to check it. I created my second Udemy video course published in April 2024 after months of hard work and pouring my passion for technology, storytelling, and video production into every minute. The course is about software architecture from foundations to cutting edge. It covers practical and emerging challenges in software architecture, system design, and cloud computing. I'm very proud of its quality and look forward to the ripple effect of my effort. On my business card, you will find the titles Software Architect, Google Developer Expert in Angular, and Content Creator. But what do I actually do? Well, it's a mix of full-stack development, software architecture, mentoring and coaching, writing online articles, and producing videos for my YouTube channel and Udemy video courses. It's a diverse and fulfilling portfolio that keeps me engaged and constantly learning. Getting here has been a long and winding journey. I began my career as a software engineer back in 2006. Those early days were a blend of excitement and challenge as I navigated the complexities of the field. A significant milestone was in 2014, when I published my first public article in Java magazine. This was a pivotal moment that sparkled my passion for sharing knowledge. In 2018, I ventured into publishing online articles on Medium. This platform allowed me to reach a broader audience and refine my voice as a content creator. Then came 2021, a year of firsts. I published my first video on YouTube and delivered my first public talk at the NTGS conference. These experiences were both exhilarating and terrifying, pushing me out of my comfort zone and helping me to grow. Today, I delivered eight public talks and appeared in four podcasts. Reflecting on my journey, I realized the most important cornerstones were my personal growth and overcoming my shyness, improving my communication, Self-confidence and assertiveness has been crucial. My drive to create content and engage in public speaking stems from a desire to connect with the global audience and contribute to the tech community. From a young age, I was fascinated by astronomy, mathematics, and psychology. However, the path to becoming an astronaut and working at NASA seemed unclear and the job marked for psychologists in Tunisia wasn't promising. So I shifted my focus to computer engineering, a field that promised both demand and financial stability, which was a practical choice that aligned with both my interests and goals. Despite the pressure and challenges of being a software engineer, I find immense satisfaction in my work. The ability to gather and share knowledge and to make an impact to the tech community brings me great pride. The journey hasn't always been easy, but it's been incredibly rewarding. Software architecture is one of the most captivating aspects of my job. It's like a vast, ever-evolving landscape where there is always something new to explore and learn. What excites me the most is the opportunity to practice creativity in a field that remains relevant for a long time. Unlike programming languages and frameworks that get updated frequently, the principles of software architecture stay valuable for years, sometimes even decades. If I create an article or video about a new feature in TypeScript 504 or Angular 18, it might be a hot topic today, but next year it could be outdated. However, software design patterns and architectural styles maintain their relevance for a longer time. Diving into software architecture also requires a different mental approach compared to deep coding. It's about zooming out to see the big picture, understanding system thinking, 
and connecting the dots between the business side and technical details. It's about asking why behind each architectural decision and being proactive to anticipate future changes. Moreover, software architecture isn't just about end users. It's also about the developers. As architects, we need to consider both user experience, UX, and developer experience, DX. By leveraging feedback from developers, we can continually evolve and optimize the architecture. This not only improves the system, but also helps us understand and mitigate our biases as architects. To sum it up, software architecture allows me to blend creativity with strategic thinking. It's a dynamic and fulfilling field that keeps me engaged and constantly learning. My first job as an AWS DevOps developer in a system with thousands of users and about 5,000 queries per second stands out as one of the most challenging periods in my career. At that time, my experience with AWS was more theoretical than practical, and I had no background in Python. Suddenly, I was thrown into a complex system with about 60 microservices implemented in Java and Python using CQRS or Command Query Responsibility Segregation and event-driven architecture with Axon Server. I felt like a novice surrounded by jargon such as Infrastructure as Code, Terraform, Fargate, EKS, CloudWatch, and the massive Grafana dashboard displaying real-time metrics. It was overwhelming. But the worst part, I wasn't a junior developer. After more than a decade as a software engineer, I started to feel confident in my technical skills, often mentoring and coaching my colleagues. The expectation was for me to hit the ground running, to be productive and navigate this complex system with ease. However, the time allotted for me to master these new technologies was limited compared to a junior developer. My team, already familiar with the system, couldn't see the complexity I faced, making my struggle and the pressure to perform even more intense. Reflecting on my journey, I realized that my initial confidence was based on a false assumption about my competencies and the state of the market. I underestimated the complexity and the pain involved in keeping up with the rapid pace of technological change. But I also learned valuable lessons. I discovered the importance of deep domain knowledge and the necessity of continuous learning. I started exploring tools like Clothu, which can decouple application concerns from Instructure ones, simplifying the development process. To sum it up, while my worst professional moment was fraught with the challenges, it ultimately paved the way to my personal and professional growth. Three non-technical skills stand out as crucial to my career growth. Learning from failures and mistakes, committing to continuous learning, and improving my soft skills. Each time I stumbled, I learned to see it as an opportunity to grow. This mindset has been invaluable, turning setbacks into stepping stones. My commitment to continuous learning has kept me adaptable in a fast-paced industry, while honing my soft skills has enhanced my ability to communicate, lead, and collaborate effectively. Currently, my professional goals are centered around growth and impact. I aim to expand my presence as a content creator, Udemy course instructor, and speaker. Building a larger, more engaged community is a key focus, as I want to share my knowledge and make a meaningful difference in the tech world. Ultimately, I aspire to become a thought leader in both technology and leadership, guiding others and influencing the industry with my insights and experiences. One of the main limitations of my job is the relentless speed of technological change. Staying up to date and maintaining a clear vision of the big picture can be challenging. At times, it feels like being a small cog in a massive machine, uncertain where it leads or what shape it will take next. This can be overwhelming, but it also drives me to continuously learn and adapt. 
ensuring I remain confident and competent in navigating this ever-evolving landscape. Embrace the challenges. Tough times are inevitable, but they are also opportunities for growth. Facing and overcoming them will make you stronger and more resilient. Learn from every experience. Every mistake and failure is a lesson in disguise. Reflect on them, understand what went wrong, and use that knowledge to improve. Keep moving forward. Persistence is key. No matter how difficult things get, keep pushing forward. Your efforts will pay off, leading you to greater success. You don't need the software architect title to think and act like one. Embrace software architecture as a field where you can practice creativity and apply a broad set of skills. See it not as an intimidating area, but as a stage for innovation and problem solving. Approach it with curiosity and confidence, and you will find it to be a rewarding and enriching aspect of your career. Outside of IT, I cherish spending quality times with my child and visiting family and friends. These moments are precious and provide balance to my professional life. I also enjoy reading and watching videos on growth, personal development, and soft skills. Creating content about these topics allows me to share what I've learned with others, contributing to a broader conversation about continuous improvement and self-development.